Gary, it didn't seem like it took you too long to fall into a groove in the beginning there. What was working with you straight from the outset tonight? Yeah, it took me a little longer than I would have liked, to be honest. But um, I thought we just sequenced pretty well and attacked the strike zone. Um, some pretty scattered misses. Um, just sweating a lot. Just a lot of a lot of a lot of sweat early. Got it a little under control. Started to get a better rhythm and. Um, found my legs a little bit and started making pitches. So, you know, maybe got a little bit fortunate with some pitches over the plate early, but I thought we sequenced well, um, bought ourselves some margin for error, and um, and settled in from there. I think a 10-pitch battle with Farmer in the seventh and then the battle with Moustakas. What did it take to get to the finish line there? Yeah, I mean, Farmer's battling hard, uh, covering, you know, laying off some good sliders, um, covering the fastball at the top and inside. Um, had to make a pitch there, get the ball down. Um, you know, hopefully he reads breaking ball out of the hand and takes it, which I think he did. And um, then with Moustakis, um, obviously he covered a really good fastball in the first at bat. Um, Went to the slot of the second at bat, uh, and then the third at bat was able to um, get him off the fastball way just enough to get it by him. Just given how dominant Clay Holmes has been this season, how stunning was it watching the, the ninth inning unfold the way it did? Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, he's picked this up so many times. Um, it's just a bummer we couldn't pick him up tonight, to be honest. You know, Wandy, Wandy gave it a great effort, um, made his pitches. Chips didn't find their way, and, and you know we couldn't scratch anything out in the ninth. Um, you know, again, like Clay saved our butt a lot. So um, sometimes these nights are going to happen. I think you know we just we're going to look for the next opportunity to pick them up. That's for sure. Did this feel like a game that it felt like you were in control and you were winning by bigger than you were? Like that, a lot of opportunities slipped away tonight to make this an easy game. Um, I didn't think it was, I, I didn't have that mentality while I was out there. Um, and I don't know what opportunities you were referencing, but uh, yeah, I, I missed that then. Um, I had, uh, two instances, I think, where we had leadoff doubles and, um, you know, those were pretty stressful innings. Just, you know, trying to stay on the attack and, um, you know, realize that we had got three to play with, and you know we we don't want to be you know don't want to be too fine, but then you know you're balancing that between you know not letting a leadoff double kind of spiral into a rally. So to be honest, like I was, you know, I I didn't really have a good idea where I was going early, and then uh, and then you know late with a little bit of pressure and and not a huge lead. I was working all night, so. Garrett, that last at bat, did you, could you not hear the pitch come? Could you put in your glove? Yeah. I was just a little like I had a good I had a good uh, I had a good read on like the pitch, but uh, I just wanted to make sure I was throwing it where he where he wanted to. Um, so it was getting loud. Yeah. Wait, is it a button you can put the volume because you were pressing it? I did. I pressed it up to like 20, and that made it a little better. And then, uh, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that we were picking that I was listening to the right side of the plate. You know. Where, where he wanted to where he wanted to go because I, I could hear the pitch and then you know I was just waiting for the location how surprised are you when games like this happen where when you guys are so used to winning uh, to be honest it's like a tail of just like the dude had like a point four going in man I mean like, you know, it's like I don't know what to tell you I, I mean uh, you know you, you hope something like this doesn't happen but like logically it's like um, you know, I mean, law of averages to a certain extent. Um, nobody's perfect, and dude, one he gave us a shot. So like, uh, I mean, it, it just kind of slipped away from us, and you know, it's uh, you know, not 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 a great feeling when you lose. Um, but hey, we were in it to the last pitch, and and like I said, like I think everybody in here is looking forward to the next time that not looking forward to the next time that we get to pick Clay up. But like, you know, he's just he's just saved our rear ends like so many times, five outs, six out saves, you know, going through the meat of the order, coming in with traffic early in the year when he wasn't closing. It's just like um, the next time we have an opportunity to pick him up, I'm sure we will.
Garrett, you have another start scheduled for Sunday. Do you expect yourself to be able to pitch in the All-Star game next Tuesday? Yeah, that's probably a question for the organization. And uh, if I make an educated guess, they're probably not going to be very comfortable with pitching on uh, you know, less than 48 hours rest. So 